welcome back and in today's blessing we are going to talk about how we need to be carefree and this carefreeness can only come once we understand that it is possible to be happy it is possible to be content without even progressing in the worldly ways and how is that possible well supreme father says even if you got two chapatis in a day and if you're content with that because you're remembering me because you are in connection with me you are the most powerful most content most happy soul in the whole world now it's very easy to say all those things but when we are in that situation and we have seen also personally myself i've seen people with that kind of situation where they don't have much to eat but still they are very happy because they have received the godly power they are able to connect to the supreme light up above and draw all the power all the wealth of knowledge from him whereas many people who have got everything wealth clothes money fame and everything which they have still they are not content because the connection between the supreme creator and the self is severed somewhere but it is very important to be connected to the supreme light see everybody says that we have come down on this earth and we are just like puppets and he's making us move around but actually we have to think about it we have to question ourselves whether it's his light which is making us move or whether it's the ghost within us yes in christianity it's called as the ghost and in if you go towards other religious books you will learn it is known as a shaitan or it is known as the evil spirit so we have both the evil and the good within us what is making us play either it's goodness that is the link between him and us or it is the evil within, within us which is making us play or do karma in this drama now that choice is ours and to discern that whether it's he making us play or the evil making us play is a very fine line very thin fine line which needs to be discerned and it can be discerned when we are clean and clear in our heart and mind how is it possible only by getting connected to the supreme creator the supreme light the supreme purifier of all souls now to understand this blessing better let's go ahead god says may you be constantly carefree and stay in infinite happiness infinite happiness not finite happiness with these things not finite happiness with this the gadgets and all is not finite happiness infinite happiness only attainable by the infinite being while meditating on him or her god then says and stay in infinite happiness by staying aware of your unlimited rights in today's world when people receive a right they receive it after making so much effort somebody gets a job a government job they get it out of effort they do so much of effort and once they get it they're like oh now from the life i can just sit back and relax because the money is going to pour in even if i don't work properly right but here is a separate thing here when we work hard and we meditate properly we receive the right now what is that working hard the working hard is to remove the evil and to let the good prevail that is the only work which we need to do in that too god is helping us out on a daily basis every single day we learn spiritual meditation the process and the deeper knowledge so that we can discern what is right and what is wrong that's what we learn brahma kumaris then god says whereas you receive all rights without making any effort sitting at home he says your time has come to get my knowledge to know who i am i and we are sitting at home and we receive his knowledge imagine the power imagine the greatness of him imagine the simplicity of the supreme lord that he doesn't actually he doesn't make any differentiation between any of his children but he is ready when we are ready god then says to be a child means to claim a right just like child is born the property of the father becomes his when something is mine it means that i have received a right so as soon as we believe that we are souls and the children of the creator or the creation of the supreme creator automatically his ocean of love his ocean of knowledge and his ocean of purity and power belongs to me 
of that ocean of knowledge and purity and power is nothing compared to the worldly purity worldly power worldly knowledge it is totally different god then says to be a child means to claim a right when something is mine it means that i have a received a right so it's a wonder of myself an elevated soul that's what we consider when we meditate it's an affirmation i am an elevated soul i deserve whatever i am supposed to receive from the supreme creator it is a wonder of myself an elevated soul stay in the happiness of this unlimited right the, this eternal right is guaranteed everything else in the world doesn't come with guarantee it comes with warranty now it is right even this phone with from where i am reading it comes with warranty this phone right in front of me is a warranty this light is also warranted nothing with guarantee but only one thing in this world of no guarantees is supreme creator connecting to him and receiving his love his purity his divinity his knowledge is a guarantee then god says this eternal right is guaranteed and when where something is guaranteed you remain carefree so in in a, in a job let's say in a government job as we were saying is guaranteed that you will receive a salary at the end of the month similarly over here god is comparing in this world the highest government of all when he chooses you as a child and thinks and feels that you have the right to receive the knowledge you are ready to receive the knowledge you've gone through enough in your life and you are ready to receive the knowledge that's the time there's a guarantee that even if we may think of leaving him he will not leave us because we are his children we are his creation to know more about this you can come to a prema kumari center and get deeply involved into understanding this without having to change your religion your own original religion you don't have to change your original religion but you'll understand what religion exactly is and for more details and for more understanding tomorrow evening we're going to have a session on anxiety to know more about this contact me on my whatsapp number which is being shown over here and get to me and ask me for the link we're going to talk about anxiety from 5 p.m to 6 p.m tomorrow evening on zoom live with this i'm shanti